Hey everybody, this is Nick with Alesis, and today I'm going to show you how you can update your Strike Modules firmware to version 1.4. Firmware version 1.4 introduces new features to your Strike Drum module, including improved kit loading times, the option to record audio directly to an SD card, new drum sounds, an updated drum interface, and an improved hi-hat response and setup. Let's get started! Before you begin, open the PDF included with the firmware installer. This document will outline the process of the firmware update for Mac and Windows operating systems, as well as summarize the changes made in prior firmware versions. Today I'm demonstrating with a Mac operating system, but the process for Windows will be very similar. Start by opening the .dmg file. Windows users will use the .exe file. Open the firmware updater. The firmware updater will prompt you with instructions for updating the strike module. Start by powering on the strike module while holding the record button. The strike module will enter firmware update mode, and this will be indicated on the module's display. When you have completed this setup, click Scan for Device. The firmware updater will indicate that the module has been detected and is ready for the firmware update. Click Update Firmware. The first of two parts of the update process will now begin. First, the firmware will be updated, and then when that is completed, some new content will be added to the module. Do not disconnect or power off the module for the entire duration of the update process. First up is the module's operating system. Allow the updater the time to install the firmware. When that is completed, the trigger firmware will be updated. After the trigger firmware has been updated, the first part of the update process is done. Now let's add some new sounds to your strike module. Firmware version 1.4 adds 15 new kits, comprised of 28 new instruments, and weighs in at over 500 megabytes of new samples. When prompted by the updater, power off the strike module. Power on the module normally, without holding any additional buttons. When the module is powered on, click Scan for Device, and the updater will prepare the module. When the updater indicates that the module is ready, click Update Sounds. I have sped up the video here, but be sure to allow the updater the time to add all the new instruments and sample content. Like with the firmware update, do not disconnect or power off the strike module while this part of the update is performed. When the content has been added, the firmware update is complete. You can verify that the update was successful by pressing the Utility button and selecting the F5 OS button. The Trigger OS and DSP OS should both be at version 1.4. We hope you enjoy using your newly updated strike drum module. Check the link in the description for more popular guides and tutorials, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.